Hey man, y'all know what's going on. Listen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Right now we in Columbia, man. A lot been going on and stuff. But um, right now we out here working, man. And if you know what I mean by working, um, it's just out here in Columbia looking for new, like a new start, new businesses, new companies that I can take over and stuff like that. And man, it's a beautiful place to be. You know what I'm saying? As you see, this is Columbia. You know what I mean? For people that ain't never been. It's great. Very, very cheap. When I tell you that it's unbelievably cheap, like crazy cheap, like I'm talking about breakfast, food, dinner, clothes, literally everything is so cheap. And it's not even about the cheap part, but I just want to get out here and, you know what I'm saying, open up little lanes. Everywhere I go, I want to be able to take my brand and take it to the next level on everything that I do. Now, we're going to get into, um, you know, a little bit about what I want to talk about and it's about staying disciplined and staying focused man even though a lot of stuff has been going on in my life you know what I'm saying I stay focused no matter what you know what I mean a lot of people say and no matter what um, hits you in life you still have to keep pushing you still have to stay focused because a lot of people comment on things that they don't know nothing about which is great um, it's whatever as long as you know what you do that's all that matters. Definitely want to put y'all up on that type of topic when it comes to staying focused. A lot of y'all are very not, I mean, a lot of y'all are not disciplined when it comes to dealing with certain things. And like me, you know, um, I'm always focusing on my goals. I'm always focusing on what should I do next? Sometimes I get a little stressed out about not making it to the next level, the next level, the next level fast enough. Then you have some people who, just just stuck they don't know what to do and you might be one of them people that's just stuck and don't know what to do so if you know you don't know what to do and you know that damn i need to try to get my life up i need to try to link with the right type of people i need to try to um you know get the job i always wanted or um move up in my job you know or something like that then it takes eliminating distractions because in this world today we have people who are miserable we have people who sit on the internet, make up lies, say anything, say this, say that. That is for, I feel like the world we live in right now, people are living for likes and clicks. They will literally take something and turn it into their favor to be able to get likes and clicks. Now, um, this is what I've been noticing as far as like when it comes to me, right? Anytime something goes on on the internet pertaining to me, people try to turn it negative and say, oh man, this and all oh, man, that. But I do not pay it attention because as long as I know what I do, then that's all that matters. But people will make money off of me. I'm becoming a money magnet. I make a lot of money, but I'm also becoming a money magnet, which is cool to me. You know what I mean? I don't sweat it. But if you are watching and you want to be one of those successful people, I just want y'all to stay disciplined. You know what I mean? As y'all know, man, I'm sponsored with a site. You know what I mean? On Patreon called Band Clan LLC, man. If you haven't visited, make sure y'all go visit it. They are giving away things daily. I'm talking about phones. They're giving away scholarships. They're giving away funding. You know what I mean? All types of stuff. So if you're an artist or an entrepreneur and you cannot get over, you know what I mean, that hump you've been trying to get over, go to patreon.com slash bandclan university. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with bandclan university, man. They actually turn the people up. And you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you see a change. If you don't, you know what I mean? And you've been signed up for a few months. Make sure you DM me and let me know, man. And I'm going I'm to do my due diligence. I'm going to go on there and see who I can bless myself. You know what I'm talking about? But we're going to stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm going to give y'all a whole tour of where we stand at in Columbia right now. We're going city to city. And, yeah, we're just going to stay focused. Also, I want to keep y'all updated on what's going on with my son. You know what I mean? A lot of people was hating on the Internet, talking about, Oh, he's a deadbeat. He hasn't done anything for his son. He left his son in the hood. And these are the type of people that chases clout more than anything. They never know what they're talking about. They don't know what's going on. They don't know how many kids I got. What's going what's the relationship I had? They just go off of what other people lie and say. Remind y'all, if somebody passes away, people can say anything and lie about anything. So you shouldn't just jump on the internet and just believe anything you say. I mean, you shouldn't just jump on the internet and believe anything that you see. 
pay attention to when people just trying to make a name off somebody. Just like I seen the post, somebody was like, oh, yeah, your son was begging me for packs or something like that. First of all, my son was a robber. You know what I mean? Which he didn't even have to be a robber. He was getting money. He was getting child support money. I was sending them cash apps every couple days. You know, all types of money. He had to sneak and talk to me because the relationship with me and his mom. You know what I mean? So I want y'all to understand how things go when you're dealing with certain people. So you have to watch, you know what I mean, who you have kids by and stuff like that. Because any guy that's watching the channel right now, it's a possibility you're going to have a baby mother. And you do not know if the relationship might be good or the relationship might be bad. The baby mother, the baby mother might not want you in the kid's life. So you have to do little things to be able to make sure your kid is secure. You might have to pay child support to make sure the kid get child support. The kid might get older, and you might have to have the grandmother or somebody have the kid sneak and call you. You know what I mean? So you never know somebody's situation. So a lot of y'all be speaking on this and speaking on that and talking about why this and why is that and why is this. Clearly, y'all see all my other kids. They have the best birthday parties. They go overseas. They do this and they do that. So sometimes you have to wonder why, what's going on. Which, which is weird to me is... If y'all see a life and death situation, people try to turn it into a troll moment. You know what I mean? Which is crazy to me because it's like, it's this how you know there's something going on in the world. Because anytime a kid passes away, um, you should definitely look at life like, damn, a kid just passed away. I'm not going to sit there and troll a person talking about, you let your kid die in the hood and you let this and you let that happen. That's stupid to say because how could I let control my kid of where he want to be, what type of group of friends he want to hang around and stuff like that. Like I wasn't saying like, damn, man, you should move. You should do this. I'm going to send you this and I'm going to send you that. See, my kid, if I send him cash apps, he'd be like, man, dad, I'm going to go do this. I'm about to go do that. And I'll be like, no, you shouldn't do that. Wait till you're 18 till you get a gun. You know what I mean? Like, get out of get out of there. Get come come to Miami. Go here, go there. But how do you know that what was he going through as far as with his mom? You feel me? How you know his mom wasn't like, no, you can't do that. You can't go do this. You can't go do that. So before everybody put their cap opinion on something and not know what's going on, you have to pay attention to them. It's a reason why everything happens. It's a reason. Cause when a person has a lot of money and they have kids, they're just not blankly not going to take care of the kids. It's always something in the middle. It could be any little thing, but it's always something. Everything happens for a certain reason, especially with me. So, like I said, you know, I used to call and talk to my kid. You know, we had these sneaking call me. Um, and he'd be like, yeah, you know, I send him some money and stuff like that. Next thing you know, I talk back to him. He got a damn gun or something. I'm like, man, do not do that you know what i mean but you can't tell a 13 14 15 year old to um what to do as y'all know these 15 year olds running around stealing cars you know which he was stealing cars as well they running around robbing people he was robbing people what am i gonna do as far as a, if a kid we can't control these you know what I'm saying 13 14 15 year old kids so um only thing that we could do is you know give them what they need but not give them too much as far as when it comes, especially when you know what type of crowd they hang out with, especially when you know um, what they're going to do with the money. I felt like if I would have gave my money, my son too much money, he probably would have bought too many guns. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like I said, don't get me wrong. When I was his age, I used to do the same exact thing. I just got lucky. You know what I mean? So, um, all I just want to say, man, when you got kids, man, you know, it's great to have them in a good environment. And then it's great to have them around you know, a certain type of caliber of people, especially the parents. The parents really matter when it comes to that. Some of us can't control the parent. You know what I mean? You don't know what type of baby mama. Like, y'all might be younger that's watching. You might be 16. You might be 15 years old. And you might have a baby young, very young. And then what if your baby mother is older and wants to be around the hood or wants or has a hood boyfriend and want to be in the hood? So you have to think about all those type of other things that goes on. Um, but I don't want to get too deep into that conversation when it comes to my son or whatever. Um, like I said, I did my part and it's just sad to say, because it's kind of like, damn, like, you know, he was out here doing what he was doing. He did tell me like, yeah, you know, pops, I'm like this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. 
man, these niggas scared of me. You know, I'm taking this down, I'm taking that down. I'm how you was, and and I'm just like, well, that ain't the wave. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not smart to do. You know, I feel like that you could be a rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could do this, you could do that. You can learn how to edit videos for me. You can. There's a lot of different things you can do. I'm like, man, you should go to Chicago or something. I can get you a job working at, you know what I'm saying, like a, like a little mall. And, you know, I can supply you with the stuff that you need. So, you know what I'm saying, that you can just stay up there and, um, you know, have your own store one day or something like that. He didn't want to do that. He was in a rush. He's like, man, no, I want this, I want that. Man, give me a car. And I'm like, well, you don't got a license. He want to drive a car now, F-18. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the younger kids, they be in a rush and stuff like that. And um, like I said, it's just you just never know somebody's story. So before y'all speak on a lot of things, start waiting till the person come out and talk about it. Like, you know what I mean? And the story gets way deeper than that. It gets really, really deep. Like, I can be on here for hours talking about, you know what I'm saying, the relationship I had with my son. But it's, like I said, like, even when he was born, you know what I mean? I had him all the way from, what? I say one to five years old, you know what I mean? And because, you know, the OG, she was locked up. So I had him, then I gave back custody. So a lot of people don't know the story. A lot of people are just saying anything. A lot of y'all, if y'all just believe anything y'all hear on the internet and it's not coming from the parents or the person, then y'all are just dumb and y'all just really believe in anything that's just out here. That's not proven facts. Because people really do things for clicks and views just for another topic to be trending and then they're talking about something else but they're trying to make as much money as possible off of people's um deaths and off of people's downfalls i noticed you know what i mean um instead of making a lot of money they're just thinking that this is the way now if they came out with a law tomorrow and said that you can't do this and you can't do that a lot of these people be broke as hell because this is how they're making a living but right now like i said we in columbia um, you know, just looking for different companies and different businesses to build because at the end of the day, I just want everybody to understand if somebody died in your family right now, you have to continue to push them forward. You have to continue to, you know what I mean, build yourself. You have to stay strong mentally. These people want you to sit and be sad. They, they want you to sit and be broke. They want you to sit and like disappear. That's their goal. They want something bad to Oh, you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing anything. You shouldn't be doing nothing at all. This happened, that happened. Man, you gotta let you gotta let God handle everything and keep pushing. If you pray, you believe in God, you just gotta let everything happen the way it needs to happen. Cause one day you're gonna die, one day I'm gonna die. You know what I mean? So, um at the end of the day, everything gonna happen the way it needs to happen, man. Like I just wanted to definitely talk about this a little bit. And just to give, give my side of the story, which is very, 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 very deep. Like if I told my story, it'd be two, three hours long. Nobody knows exactly what's going on, what happened, what I'm going through. But um, at the end of the day, I'm still a strong person. I've been through a lot. I had a lot of rumors put on me in the past about everything. If you go look back, put Bam and Kevin on uh, YouTube. It's a whole lot of rumors that have been said. You'll hear something about Bam and Kevin. What comes out later on, you be like, oh shit, they lied on him. They said he was a snitch. They lied on him. They said he had a BBL. They lied on him. They saying this, he's a deadbeat. They lied on him. You feel me? All my kids have the best birthdays. All my kids get everything they want for Christmas and for whatever. Whenever they ask, they get it. Now, you're going to have different baby mamas like I have different baby mamas. Every baby mama is not the same. Some baby mamas do not want you to have contact with the kids. So how else are you going to be able to talk to the kids? There's going to be times where you have to sneak and talk to them. You have to go through a little thing, like, you know, so you can't control where they stay. You can't control what they do. Only thing that you can do is say, okay, well, one day they're going to get older. Let me, let me, I'm going to just pay child support. And when they get older, I'm going to be able to talk to them and let them understand what type of person that they were dealing with and then go from there. It's ways and strategies of how you have to do things. But other than that, man, I just want to give y'all that sauce, man, and give y'all that game on that. But me, I'm going to always be able to come forward and put people up on game, teach people how to make money, um, teach people about staying strong and motivation. Because 
their life still goes on. Your bills still have to get paid. You know what I mean? You still you still have to build relationships. You still have to um, stay focused at all times, man. Cause like it's crazy. It's like a crazy tragedy. Like at, now, I want y'all to think about this. How would you feel as a dad, right? If you heard the news of your son dying from the internet, not from nobody else. No family members hit me up. Nobody. I got the information from the internet. So when I seen it, I'm like, damn, I'm getting all these DMs about my son passing away. So I was like, it can't be real. I just talked to the niggas. So when I seen it, I'm like, man, let me put it on my page and let people know because maybe the family don't want me to know or some weird shit, right? So I blasted it and it caught. And for me to y'all, right, if you do stuff like that, it brings notoriety on it because if it wasn't no notoriety on that situation, that situation possibly could have got swept under the rug. You know what I mean? But y'all just stay tuned for the real interview about it, man. I'm going to get deeper into it later. But um, I just want to give y'all pieces that y'all can kind of understand of uh, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And go from there, though, man. It's real. It's a messed up situation. Any guy right now with kids, you know what I'm saying? Any guy who hasn't had kids yet, you know what I mean? Be careful. Stay tuned. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when you're having a kid with a woman, most likely you think you're going to be with them forever. I know you do. But you might not. And they get a new boyfriend. Then the boyfriend might not want you to ever come around or might not even want you to talk to the kid anymore or anything, anything. So if you understand how life works, then you will understand certain situations. So most of the people that you will see um, hating, blasting, and making up fake stuff, talking about, yeah, your son was begging me for this and begging me for that. First of all, if I'm a robber, if I'm a robber, right, and I rob, right, which I've, I've been telling my son, like, man, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. But he heard stories about me doing it, you feel me? So, you know, that's what he wanted to do. And there's nothing that you could just stop. You can't stop a kid from stealing cars. You can't stop a kid from stealing out of stores. You can't stop a kid from carrying a gun. You can't do none of that, if whatever that, because they feel like an older person as well in their mind. So, you got to understand this. When I'm telling them this, he's just looking at me like, yeah, whatever, you feel me? So... I'm just like, man, shoot, see if you can come to Miami. See if you can come here. See if you can come there. Now, when you go try to do this stuff, your mom call the police on you. You feel me? So, and remind you, he just got out of jail. You know, he's in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail. So, it's, it wasn't really no getting through to him. But, you know, like I said, we tried our best to um, do what we needed to do. But at the same time, you know, this is just how kids or I was the same type of kid. You understand what I mean? But another thing I want to let y'all know, when you are a kid and you have certain type of friends and you have a dad like Ben Mankevo, people will feel like you should do more for your son as Ben Mankevo, right? So I should do more for him because the people that he around might want more. No, I'm not doing it. So he can buy more guns. So he can so he can do this and this and this and flex in a place where he don't need to be. No. Now if he could have been with me, then he could have got all the stuff he needed to get. But that was impossible. It was an impossible situation that I couldn't take control of. So long story short, man, the interview coming soon. I want y'all to stay tuned. We gone.